Okay guys, so today I am reviewing a Panasonic shaver. That's this one here. It's a wet and dry shaver. I'm gonna use it for my home because I have a shaver for going outside with or have a shaver for use in the car, shall we say. This one I've had quite a while. This is a Philips. It's a twin head shaver. This is a battery operated shaver. I've been using this in the car You'll see from my reviews in the past and some of my vlogs that I've been using wet shavers. So I use a Gillette or a Wilkinson Sword wet shaver. Um, which I've been doing for a few years because my old Panasonic shaver broke. I dropped it. That was a wet and dry shaver too, but they call it wet and dry. What it mainly meant was you could use it as a dry shaver to shave, but you could wash it and get it wet to clean it. So it wasn't a wet and dry shaver as such. There is a difference between this one. This model is the ESRT737. It says this is a wet and dry shaver. This one can be used wet, so you can use it with shaving foam and you can use it dry. So I'm gonna do a test, we'll probably do half and half just to see how it comes out because the reviews look quite good. First things first, we need to unbox it. Okay then, so what do we get in the box? Plastic container mm. looks like an enormous book and um, in fact that looks huge so we've got a very thick book I mean that's ridiculously large but it's in about a million languages rather unnecessary for a shaver this size but never mind guarantee and warranty cards and then the actual packaging for the shaver itself so what do we get? We've got a brush. This is a brush to keep it clean. All shavers usually come with these of some sort. Never quite work out what the hole's for though. We get a charger. Now this is a charger with a shaving point adapter on it, which means that they expect you to have a two pin shaver point in your bathroom or a two pin shaver adapter. I have a shaver adapter. This end is the charging point that goes into the rechargeable shaver. And of course then we have the shaver itself. It's got like a guard cover over it. So there's a little bit of plastic. You can see there like a guard covering it up. That pulls off and we've got the shaver. It's a, they call it a triple shaver. It's really, it's got two foils and then a sort of a cutting foil down the middle, a cutting edge down the middle, which is exactly the same as the one I had previously. We have a pop-up trimmer to trim your sideburns and bits of beard. And as I said, it is a rechargeable shaver. If you press the button, it shows us the battery charge here. When we turn it off, again, it flashes. It's telling us at the moment that it's got a full charge. So three lights. I imagine when it's plugged in, it will show red lights down here to show that it's actually charging. It's got an articulated head, which moves. To take it apart, there's two buttons either side. You push those and the head comes off. You've got your blades, which are apparently Japanese surgical steel. So they're very, very sharp. They, you can clean under the tap. You can wash those under the tap and obviously clean with the brush. And then you've got your casing with your foils which also comes apart. You press the buttons again at either side and that part then comes apart for cleaning or replacement of the foils. So the best way to test the shaver is to go and give it a go. Okay, so initially I'm gonna try it as a dry shaver and see what that's like. And what I would normally wanna do with it, I would try and get away from using the wet shaver as such. So we'll give that a go. I don't know which way you use it this way or that way, but. So I'm going to do one half this side to see what happens and then I'll have a look with the other side with the other wet bit. I know it's a bit strange but you know why not. Okay so I'd say that it feels really smooth actually it does feel very nice it's very comfortable it's not giving me a rash it's not harsh it doesn't pick or pull up bits. So yeah so far actually that's really nice. Um, it's how I remember using a electric shaver in the past it's getting that close and not having to use or revert to a wet shaver.
So now for the next test, I'm using my normal wet shaving foam or it's actually this stuff. King of Shaves, shave gel, antibacterial, good for you and all that. And it glides normally with a wet shaver, so it's very good. So let's see, this thing says we can do it, so let's give it a go. So with the shaving foam or the shaving gel, it does feel like it pulls a bit more. Um, doesn't it's not uncomfortable, it's still just as comfortable to use. It just, you can feel it pulling a bit more. So maybe it is possibly getting that bit closer. I don't know. We'll soon see in a minute when I wash it off. Okay, so we're done dusted and dried. Um, it probably actually, it does feel a bit closer on the wet side quite nice to use actually um, and yeah I think the wet side is probably a bit closer I think if you wanted to do it quickly and you just wanted a nice close shave then using it as a dry shave would be fine I think if you wanted to go out somewhere maybe an evening or an event and you want it really really close shave as smooth or as close to as a wet shave but without the rash I think using it wet actually probably quite a good idea so spec wise it takes an hour to get a full charge it's I said it's off that two pin charger with a shaver adapter or a shaver point in your bathroom it will last up to 54 minutes on a full charge apparently it's got a charging regulator so it will cut itself out so when it gets its full charge point it will just stop charging um, it is a bit bigger than some of the others i think some of the more expensive shavers nowadays are a little bit smaller and yeah overall for the price at 49.99 i'll stick links of course down below like i always do that's actually not a bad shaver at all quite like it it's not overly loud i mean it's like any shaver it's noisy but it's not terrible